All right, guys, we're nearing the finish line. We are almost done. So let's go take a quick look. All right, so as you can see, the landscaping's in. Keep in mind, um, when you build a new home, most builders do not warranty the landscaping. But if you have a tree that's planted that's in the non-growing season, like right now, all the leaves are gonna be dropping off these trees. If that tree does not leaf out next year, then you can definitely call the builder and tell them what happened. And most of the time they can get you a replacement tree. All right, so gotta take off the old boots. Wow, this looks great. Door shuts nice. Everything is nice and clean. I'm gonna have to go walk through here and uh, check everything out once we get done with the video. All right, so walking through this, you've got your linen closet. And remember, this is just standard for what most builders are gonna do in all your closets. So when you guys are thinking about building a home, just kind of keep that in mind. You can actually tell them if you're gonna put in like uh, an alpha system from the container store or something, you can tell them to leave all that out and then you can just bolt your system right in. But you can also give them instructions on if you wanted a dual shelf, you know, for some long dresses or some suits or something, and they'll work with you on that. So as y'all are building your house, just keep that in mind. Remember, green tape and blue tape, right? Green tape, you can see here, that is a drywall divot and they're already marking it proactively. Blue tape is probably a mechanical issue. Um, not everybody does that though. That's not a consistent thing. Some builders will use just any tape that they happen to have on hand. So the color doesn't always matter. Um, we just always call it a blue tape walk. So the last meeting you have typically is we all meet here and then we go around looking for problem areas and you know things like this, he's already marked it. So I gotta tell you, the builder on this job has done a good job coming in, proactively finding a lot of the blemishes and the discrepancies. Uh, it saves a lot of time and quite frankly, all builders ought to do that. It's really wonderful when the clients can come into their home and everything just looks stunning, right? There's no divots, there's nothing that was missed. Man, I really like how this turned out. That actually looks really nice. That's a good combination. Nice five uh, gas burner stove, a beautiful big island. Got the stainless stink, stink, <laughs> stainless sink. Sorry, I've got a bit of a head cold. Um, it's had me knocked down for a couple of days. I think it's really a sinus infection. Not that you people in YouTube land need to know what I've got. All right, in here, the Smurf tube is in. So if you notice, there's your ethernet connection, your CATV connection. This hole, for those of you in YouTube land that don't know what this does, is a, is a pipe in the back of this wall. So you can run your wiring from down here, behind the wall and out here. And when you mount your television up here, it plugs in here. You've got all your, your cables from your sound system or whatever, your video game boxes, whatever you may have, so that when your TV's up here, it looks nice and clean. Um, and that's called a Smurf tube most of the time. Low voltage wiring people can help design that stuff with you, but the builder's the one who actually puts it in the wall. This is a neat little room. It's a, it's a built-in desk. You could certainly do it as a true bar. Um, believe it or not, a lot of people, have in the old days, like in the 60s and 70s and 50s, you would see bars built into homes. This could actually be a perfect uh, bar, alcoholic bar, if you would, if you entertain that way. In this house, it's a cute little uh, desk, a little area with some storage units. Got another linen closet, nice big master. This actually turned out nice. Again, the Smurf tubes, that's a very clean way to, to hang your television. Ooh, that's dramatic. That floor really jumped out at me. I like that. See, it's funny guys, because a lot of the times I will see the selections, but I don't necessarily know what it's gonna look like until it's in the house. Um, I can talk to you about drama. See, here we've got a dual level closet system, and then we've got a single hanger, shoe racks, single hanger, single hanger. So I can tell you, you know, like if you're doing dark cabinetry in a very neutral countertop like this, it's always striking. And then what you do is you come in with like your toothbrush holder or whatever, some, some towels, and you can do your color pop on the towels and the little doodads you put on the countertop, right? That's where the color can come from. 
And this is a super good neutral and it'll last forever. When, when you guys go to sell this house, it'll sell great because you've got some very classical designs you've done. See, look at your kitchen. Look how beautiful your kitchen looks. You could bring in a brightly colored red mixer, like a KitchenAid mixer and a little red uh, cara uh, carafe or something to hold mixing spoons. So that's your color, right? You can bring your color in with things you can replace as those colors go in and out of style. So I love this. Very clean, very neutral, easy to come in and let your furniture and your throw rugs and your accessories decorate the house through color. You know, mirrors you may hang or pictures. So this is just, this is just the great way to build a house that you're gonna be in for a few years and then you wanna have a great resale experience. So I love it. Neat, 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 neat. That turned out really cute, didn't it? Let me turn on the lights so you can see the beadboard. See, really cute, right? And that was a very modest expense and that's adorable. And again, more storage. This floor plan has a ton of storage, it's crazy. Okay, utility room, right? And then another bedroom. And again, Smurf tube. So these are gonna have super clean television installs. It's gonna look great. Now, if you notice, you typically have a inlet and a return for your AC system. But here they did a pass through. See, it just goes to the next room. So that was how they were designed in the HVAC because right here's your primary inlet. Um, yeah, so overall, I love it. It looks super clean. Um, I think it turned out great. And I gotta tell you, I love this. I think I think that's gonna be just awesome. On the resale market, it's, I mean, living in it, yeah, I know, you guys wanna live in it, silly me. But on the resale market where I'm thinking, so remember how my brain works. My job is to help you kind of build a home that you're gonna love while you live in it. And people always tell me we're never gonna sell it, and then they sell it in five years. So when you call me to sell it, I always wanna make sure that we build something that's just gonna be an amazing experience when you sell it. And here's the cool correlation. If you build it to sell, the odds are really high you're gonna love living in it because humans, we fall into buckets or patterns and that right there is super clean. You gotta admit, that's just a beautiful kitchen. Great island, floors are nice neutral. I'm telling you, when y'all get decorated in here, it's gonna look amazing. You call me up and tell me if I'm wrong. Don't tell me I'm wrong. I'm old and my ego can't handle it. Overall, guys, they did a great job on the house. We are, we are ready to close. I think everything looks good. I am gonna go through a little more detail. I love how the builder has proactively started marking. Um, and when I was walking through earlier, he's caught so much stuff. It's just great. It's gonna save us a lot of time. So I'm super excited for you guys. Um, by all means, if you have any questions, just reach out and let me know. I think our next event is gonna be the Blue Tape Walk. The, the meeting right prior to closing. And overall, I'm super excited and very happy with the job they've done. I hope you guys are. That's the most important thing. All right, may God keep and bless you guys, cause his face to shine upon you, and in the midst of COVID, keep you healthy. See you next time.